some people maybe not realize how bad it was. Between the tumbleweeds and the dust, it uh, piled up along fence rows. Fence rows would just actually pile up. Well, of course, uh, when, when the crops didn't grow, there were many tumbleweeds around. And, of course, when the winds came along, it blow the tumbleweed somewhere. And the fence row would be the place where it would stop. Well, now it was also blowing dust. And the dust would co-mingle with the, with the uh, tumbleweeds. It wasn't a pleasant sight. The work in our place depended 95, 98% on the farmer in Gresham. There was a, a man in the community who'd done a lot of corn shelling. At that time, they'd shell corn, you know, they'd pick it in the air and then shell it. And this man done a lot of corn shelling, and he done some uh, grain uh, threshing. They used to thresh the wheat. At that time, they used to uh, have a lot more wheat than they have now. But uh, we done some repair work on his equipment, as he, and of course we. Uh, then when the season was over, he, this man went out to western Nebraska when they were harvesting potatoes. And he picked up a truckload of potatoes, a sack of potatoes. And he came back and he stopped at the shop and he says, I don't have any money, but I have some potatoes. Can you use some potatoes? So we got that bill paid with potatoes. To the world small. The world isn't as big as one thinks. What, what affects one affects the other, one way or the other, sooner or later.